make your spirals, you need to go twice the length of the spiral that you wish for it to be, for the length of that spiral to be. So this one was a chain of 20. So in order for me to make a longer one, I'd do it in a chain of 40, and it would be about this long instead. So uh, right now we're only going to do a chain of 25. And what we're going to do in the very first hole, you're going to miss this one right here. You're going to miss the first chain that's on your chain. In the second chain, you're going to do a, a single crochet. And then you're ready. So in the in this next crochet, you're going to do four single crochets. And you'll continue to do that all the way to the end. To your last chain on your chain. This one right here. You will not go into the end one because it will unravel it. So you want to go in that last one all the way to the end. So, here we go. That's my first one. So now we're going to do the second one. And we're going to do four in this hole. Four single crochets. Two. This is three. This is four. You'll go into the next one. As you can see, it's already curling. So we're going to go into the next one, and we're going to do four again. You're going to continue to do this. Oops. You're going to continue to do this all the way to the very end. Doing a single crochet four times in each one. As you can see, it's already curling up, making a nice pretty little spiral all the way up. Now, if you want to do a rosebud, uh, this is how you can do a small rosebud. As you can see, how cute it looks. It looks like a rosebud even. And that can go with the, the rose that you can make. I'm at the end, and as you see how it looks when you are crocheting, you're working with it. So sometimes it doesn't want to curl with you as you go. So what you need to do is just flip it and make it work for you. <laughs> and do what it's supposed to do by turning it like that. Okay, we're on our last, i pull it out of there, we're working on the last chain on this, on the twirl, I call it twirl, but on the curls. So we're going to go in the last one and do four, double, I mean, four single crochets. Now you're going to want to do a slip knot to hold it in place, so make a slip knot. Loosen your yarn up. Go ahead and cut it. Tighten it. That's how you crochet the corkscrew. There you go.